just going to do a little bit of graphing and uh, generally, I mean, I just want you to know the general principles behind this. Okay, so I'm going to make number lines for each of these for graphing. I probably should have spread that out a little bit better, but that's fine. Okay, so x is less than 3 or x is greater than 5. So we're going to mark, here we've got 3, and there's 4, and there's 5, and there's 2. Uh, x is less than 3, so less than, le not less than or equal to, so less than, so we're going to do an open circle. And it is all the numbers that are less than 3. So 2, 1, 2, negative infinity. Okay, or x is greater than 5. Okay, so x could be anything less than 3, or it could be anything greater than 5. So then we have an arrow this way. 5, so it's going to include 6, 7, 8 to positive infinity. And that's what that graph would look like. They're not equal to 3, and it's not equal to 5, so you're not going to fill those dots in. And then you're not going to be anything between 3 and 5. Okay? Okay, so that's that example. X is this one. X is less, sorry, X is greater than 5, and X is less than or equal to 6. So um, this one should be interesting. Uh, let's just say, we'll just put 5 in the middle, and 6 right here. 7, 8, 9, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it, they keep going in both directions. That's what those arrows mean. Uh, we'll start with this one. X is greater than 5. So, okay, we don't have, can include 5, but it's everything bigger than 5. And X is also less than or equal to 6. So that means we have a solid dot here, right? And that includes the 6. And then our arrow for this one is going this way. Well, if we look at this, we could really just say the x is any number, right? Because less than or equal to 6 includes 5 and everything below 5. And x is greater than 5, include, doesn't include 5, but that one's included with the other one but it includes everything above 5. So everything that this one doesn't include, this one does, and vice versa. So there you go. So that's an interesting graph. Uh, you might run into a couple this way. I, I'm more interested that you just understand which way the arrow points, that it's pointing to the numbers in the direction of the numbers that would satisfy this, um, and whether to keep it an open circle or a filled-in circle. Okay, and then the last one, negative 3. So we want, let's just start at negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, that one's the one we want, uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so our lowest point is going to be negative 3, and it is less than or equal to. So less than or equal to, that means we have a nice filled in dot right here at negative 3. And it's less than x. So x is everything in this direction until we get to 0. And when we get to 0, that is an open circle. because it. Oh, sorry, that is also a filled-in circle because it's less than or equal to. And it is everything in between here and here. Okay, everything in between here and here is included. And you might, just to clarify something, you might say, well, okay, so x could be negative 2, it could be negative 1, it could be negative 3, it could be 0. It could also be negative 3.5, negative 3.001. It can be any number. There are infinitely number of numbers between negative 3 and 0. Uh, so the smallest decimal increase is also included. So any number doesn't have to be an integer between negative 3 and 0 is included. And I think that's enough for the YouTube videos for today. So uh, enjoy.